you know, they made up their mind on day one. The conclusion was that I killed my daughter. I got nightmares in my head, I fear Thoughts build up until I can't feel My mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper I got nightmares in my head, I fear Thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper Hello and a warm welcome to True Crime Rocket Science, the most authentic voice in true crime. The conclusion was that I killed my daughter. That's what John Ramsey said on 60 Minutes. It aired on the 14th of February, Valentine's Day in 2024. Certainly the preview, the full episode is this Sunday on 60 Minutes Australia. But is it true? The conclusion was that I killed my daughter. Was it? I think it's surprising. Isn't it surprising to you hearing John Ramsey saying today, basically right now, that the cops concluded that he killed John Bonet? I don't think he did. Do you think he did? And I, also, I don't think the cops concluded that. Did they? So he seems to be almost victim blaming himself on behalf of somebody else. But I'm not sure I've seen anyone in law enforcement, with the exception of Detective Linda Orrant, suspect John Ramsey of direct involvement. Before we get to that, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. Bear in mind, I am uploading an audiobook the day after Christmas on Patreon on the $10 tier. So if you're interested in audiobooks, if you followed some of the audiobooks on the Ramsey case, you don't want to miss that one. I'll put a link to Patreon in the description. If you're enjoying this analysis, please like, share, leave a comment. By the way, I'll also put a link to this trailer, the full trailer from 60 Minutes in the description as well. But if you're enjoying this analysis, please like, share, leave a comment. You can also hit the thanks button and let's get started. Do you remember Steve Thomas suspected Patsy? And along with him, several others followed suit. Patsy is one of the, of the parents, I would say, far more suspect Patsy than John, perhaps to, to an extent of 92 to 10, or even 95 to 5. And in a way, Patsy is a much better suspect on paper, first of all, because she can't be excluded as the ransom note writer, whereas John can be. Secondly, she didn't change she Patsy didn't change clothes that night, whereas John obviously did. Number three, the evidence of, of Patsy is all over the crime scene, including possibly fur and clothing fibers from a coat that she wore at night on the sticky side of the duct tape, and then also her prints, Patsy's prints, not John's, so this would be number four, on the bowl of pineapple along with Burke's. The fifth point to make, Patsy was also constantly in the basement that Christmas, which is where she said that she wrapped Christmas gifts. To take this point even further, not even the unsigned grand jury indictments list John Ramsey as a murder suspect, or Patsy for that matter. I don't think one can say many people took Linda Oren's eye-bulging interview very seriously. I know I didn't. Let's take a quick look at that at that interview and what she said at the time and uh, I knew what happened do you think your fear was well founded you bet I do there's no doubt in my mind to this day never wavered you were afraid because you thought the killer was still in the house well, I knew it and I told him to go back to the room and to dial 911. And as we looked at each other, I remember, and I wore a shoulder holster, tucking my gun right next to me and consciously counting, I've got 18 bullets. Why did you do that? Because I didn't know if we'd all be alive when people showed up. I said everything made sense in that instance. 
That's not an interview you see very often. You don't see it in very many documentaries. Not too many people give it much um, credit or um, credence. Do you? Now, interestingly, throughout much of 2023, John has been quite vocal, giving interviews across various media, implicating the likes of Gary Oliva, and that's something that this channel has certainly covered. John Mark Carr also came up again as a suspect in the mainstream media narrative as late as September of last year. And so the question certainly arises, what are the Ramses trying to achieve on 60 Minutes? Why is this happening? Well, I wouldn't be surprised if it's to repeat the tired old DNA narrative, because that is kind of under the microscope right now. There is a um, review of the evidence taking place right now, specifically with regard to the DNA. This may be an attempt to, if not control the narrative, influence the narrative. And you remember what we opened up with in the previous episode on the Ramsey case? Well, it was Susan Stein saying the following. Anybody who wants to can manipulate the media or be manipulated by the media into believing the most incredible nonsense. As far as I'm concerned, the most incredible nonsense is the idea that the Ramsey case comes down to a DNA case. The Ramsey case doesn't come down to a DNA case, and the recently the the brouhaha around a lever whose DNA doesn't match actually demonstrates that this whole idea that let's look into Gary Oliva even though his DNA doesn't match. There is a far better um, kind of source of evidence to use to test suspects, such as the three-page ransom note. It's not just one line of handwriting. It's not just half a page of handwriting. It's almost three pages. Also, the evidence left on the sticky side of the duct tape. Also, the materials found on John Bonet herself and the manner in which they were used. We're talking here about knots, a piece of a paintbrush, etc. And then also John Bonet's injuries. Those four areas are all much better areas to look into than just the DNA. And I wouldn't say don't look into the DNA, but also don't reduce it to just a DNA case. Does that make sense? Now, I do think it'll be interesting. I'm putting up this analysis prior to the 60 Minutes documentary. It will be interesting to see whether the Ramses mention Gary Oliva being set free. You would imagine if he really was the this is the guy guy, you know, that he was... He was held up to be that last year. You'd think that he'd be at least worthy of a mention. So what do you think? Do you think he will be? Thank you for listening, and I'll see you guys next time.